Hello and welcome to the third module in our series for our Getting to Know Gurfit training workshop. This training module is all about the lead professional. We also have other training modules available to watch on our website. A full training pack with all of the information covered in these modules, including easy read guides and BSL animations, can also be found on our website. I hope you'll find the training modules helpful and we always welcome your feedback. If you want to get in touch with our Children and Young People programme, please email us at gurfic at alliance-scotland.org.uk. The main learning outcomes of the GURFEC training is to support participants to increase their knowledge and understanding of GURFEC, learn about the GURFEC toolkit and really understand how to promote children, young people and families' wellbeing by using the GURFEC approach. As we weave through the training, have a think about how you may already use GURFEC in your own practice. So what is a lead professional? During childhood, there may be circumstances where children, young people and families require the support of a child's plan. This is where a lead professional will be needed. Not every child, young person or young adult needs to have a lead professional, but where complex combinations of support are required, as can be the case for children and young people with disabilities or living with long-term conditions, or where a young person with complex support needs is transitioning into adulthood, and adult services, a lead professional is usually appointed to coordinate the development and operation of a child's plan for the person. Who is the lead professional? The lead professional is likely to be someone well known to the family, someone who is already working with them such as a speech therapist or a social worker or someone working within the third sector. The lead professional is an agreed, identified person within the network of practitioners who are working alongside the child or young person in their family. In most cases, the professional who has the greatest responsibility in coordination and reviewing of the child's plan will undertake this role. Throughout a child or young person's journey, this person may change depending on the child or young person's needs but there, all, there should always be a lead professional identified where there is a multi-agency child's plan. All decision making about support and the child's plan should seek and act on the views of the child or the young person and their family where appropriate, in accordance with their best interests and in consideration with their full spectrum of rights. What are the lead professional's main responsibilities? The lead professional's main role is to help children, young people or young adults and the family to participate fully in the assessment and in making the plan, to be the main point of contact regarding the plan and they should have the appropriate skills and experience to coordinate all agencies involved in supporting a child and young person's wellbeing. Lead professionals are there to ensure that the help and support agreed and recorded in the plan is provided that everyone does what they say they will do, and while the lead professional has responsibilities to coordinate a child's plan, other practitioners have responsibility to deliver their own agency's part of the plan, and we'll say more about planning for a child, young person or young adult in our other training modules. There may be situations where a child, young person and or family may no longer wish to continue to work with the individual who has been identified as the lead professional and will seek someone else for that role. While circumstances will vary, the child, young person and family could approach their named person to discuss this and take reasonable steps to identify and offer another suitable individual. The child or young person, in accordance with their evolving capacity and their family, should be supported to fully participate in discussions and decision making to identify an appropriate new lead professional. Families and carers may wish to reach out to independent advocacy to support them too. We've now reached the end of our third module all about the lead professional. Have a look at our other training modules in our series which are available on the Alliance website. And if you have any questions that have cropped up during listening to this clip, let us know by emailing the team at gurfic at alliance-scotland.org.uk.